Hello everyone, it's Cookie at Cookie's Cache. Welcome to my channel. If you've been with me before, welcome back. If you're new to my channel and would like to follow along for box openings, jewelry box openings, um, or bag openings and sales, uh, please hit the sub subscribe button and the bell out to the right side and you'll be notified whenever I'm here. Now in my last box opening, I had a very lightweight box and now this is the bottom half of it. I thought it was kind of small, and it, and it was. So we'll get started with this and see what comes out. Here is, first off the bat, just like we had in the last one, a little bohemian style um, boho type bracelet. It's got multicolors. It's uh, definitely going in a craft lot. It's just not up to par, what I would think somebody would really want to spend money on. Uh, this is a little gold tone whale, tie tack, cute. And then we have some shell beads. Maybe some of you know, they've, they've really gone kind of elaborate on this one. They've made like little, little uh, teepees out of each of them. So it's different. It's cute. Nice. Let's see. That's a 17 inch if anybody's interested in shells. They kind of, those are nice for a craft lot um, for, uh, you know, putting on things, working with your, your tins and scrapbooks and so forth. Here's a different type. Same type of shell, but they've done like four little stations all the way around and it is 18 inches long a little bit longer you could layer those two together okay and here is a third shell necklace now this has i believe these are called i think i'm not sure but leave me a note in my in my comment section down below um these are like i thought they were called puka shells but i, I could be very wrong this one is all 17 and a half inches. Now these are a kind of a brown tone shell as compared to the other ones. We've got too much light here somehow. Maybe if we just use the top one. I'll turn it off. Let's turn it off and see what happens. See if we can get a better color on this. Just for color's sake. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> you can see the colors, though. Yeah, you can see a lot more of the color. But it is a brown. No, we'll go back to the other one. I like the brighter light better. I, I know it washes the things out. but Now, this is a cute little stretch bracelet. Uh, black beads, about a six millimeter. And it has... Um, I would say astrological signs on it, symbols, very cute, gold tone on the black, cute little accent bracelet, good stretch, oh now these are cute, this is so uh, halite, dyed halite turquoise, these are like little sunflowers, daisies on the uh, ring, they're still on the card, it looks like something looks like they were put on this card but those are definitely a plus this oh these are great these are kind of a mm, floral motif they're like a gold tone with a green patina and they are um, pierced ears very nice little set they have some weight to them. So, let's see what else we've got in here. Beads. Lobster claw clasp with a... This is um, Liz Claiborne. It's got a ribbon through it. The ribbon's in good condition. It's got some brown beads, some wood beads, glass beads, some filigree gold tone. And a marbling kind of a bead. That's acrylic as well. 
I thought they were glass, but they're not there. Let me see. Yeah, those are glass beads. They're just not very heavy. They're nice little necklace, different. Uh, 17 inches from the Lobster Claw class, but does have the maker's tag. Very pretty. Okay, and we've got more shell. As I say, this kind of is rem reminiscent of the box that I had on the last opening. This is like a belt to me. This looks like a belt. It could be used like a necklace. It's 18 inches, uh, 19 inches from this tie here. And of course, like I, like I said, you could use it as a, these are shell and these are wood. And then it's got a good sturdy uh, tie here. Nice, different. Oh, now this is cute. Attractive. Uh, spring class, gold tone. Gold tone beads in between. Um, actually, they're seed beads. And these beads are acrylic and they're painted. Um, they're kind of a coppery orange color. And then they've got painting of gold on it. Very pretty. That's nice. That's a nice fall color. Okay, we have a breast awareness with um, looks like a mis uh, mixing mixing whisk. I don't know what that is. I'm going to let him see if he can find out. Larry's here with me today. Help me out. These are a stretch bracelet. Blue um, kind of squared off or brick shaped acrylic beads. Well, I don't know. They're awfully cold. No, they've got to be acrylic. I think it's just the metal I'm feeling. Very good shape. Very nice piece. Oh, now this is nice. I like this. It's got that acrylic and then with the foil inside and it comes out. It's a teal color. And then I don't know if you can see the... the um, The other, let me see here. Just let's see if we can't hit that top light off. Let's try that. Very good shape. Just needs a wash. Very good shape. Yeah, I want to see it before I have it. It is up there. Well, no, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, that's the one. I don't know if that makes it any better, guys. It's hard to say. You can see the color in it a little better, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. But it is very shiny, very bright, attention-getting. There we go. Set that aside. Oh, got some more shells or being, yeah, these are, now this is a different kind of a shell and then some, like, seed beads here on this one. It is long. It is 20, 20 inches long. Pretty color. I, this might go very well with a, I have a, got a necklace, long necklace like this with some long, elongated beads, almost like rice, but longer brown. And this would go lovely with that. I might pull that out. Let's see what we can do. This is a Souvenir from Puerto Rico. However, it's made in China. <laughs> Go figure. It's leather. It's still on the card. It's, it was, it, you know, it was a, like I said, a souvenir and it wasn't really cared for. It's, it's okay. We'll put that in the craft lot also. Now this, I don't know. Let's see what I can do here. Looks like there's some cloisonne earrings, but they got, oh, here we go. This is a pin, a brooch. It's made out of like fabric, and then it has, a, it's an anchor. That's different. If you had a nautical outfit, that would be cute. 
And then we have the cloisonne. Actually, they're not real cloisonne. They're clipped back. They're painted. They are acrylic over it with a black. They're nice. They're pretty. It's um, kind of an iris or an orchid. And here is a wooden clamp bracelet. Uh, it still has good... It's different. Very different. I haven't seen one like that. And here is another wooden bracelet carved out. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to think on that one. And this is a large... Uh, co copper. It's a copper made in India. That's nice. It's got some weight to it. Not real heavy, but it's nice. Okay, well, we never did figure out what that... That almost looks like a, a, a mixing whisk, the kind that you use when you're baking with that uh, breast awareness ribbon. Maybe somebody knows. Now, this is Dyed halite. It's a clamper bracelet. It's it's cute. It's not. It's kind of an orange tone stone. It seems like it's just a little off. There we go. Going to take a lot to get it back in. Different. Uh, here is a pair of. <laughs> Uh, moccasins. I'm assuming they're Native American moccasins. I don't know whether they're made by Native American, but by Native American, but it's real cute. It's done in felt. It's hand stitched. It's got the little seed beads. It's a cute little memento. Somebody's souvenir also. It's got a little safety pin in the back to help hook it, but it is, it is a sweet little piece. If you collect Native American uh, artifacts or uh, decorations that a dog space on there. <laughs> might be no I think that's supposed to be a little maybe a little person's face maybe I don't know it's different here is a very very cold piece of green it is a it is a bangle bracelet, and it has various colors, but it's, I don't know if it's glass or what. We'll test it and see. Different. I haven't seen one like that. Very, you know, you would want to be careful with it. Here's a stretch bracelet. Now, that's pretty. I have one of, uh, one of my... Ladies that watches likes green, and these are really pretty green glass beads that go through there. With needs a bath because these rondelles are, or these spacers, excuse me, are a little dull looking, but it has rhinestones, so they're all there. That's pretty. Everything's pretty tonight. This is Guardian Angel Keychain. This is glass. This piece that. I, I didn't think I'd be lucky enough to get a piece like that of jade, but this is a Guardian Angel keychain. Looks like it's uh, brass. <coughs> Excuse me. Little stretch ring, good condition. It's kind of a red tone. Um, acrylic faceted uh, pieces, petals, and then the red rhinestone in the middle. Nice. Don't get too many of those. Here is a little, oh, that's too bad. That's cute. It was a clay or, yeah, clay made um, couple of flowers with the leaves and the little carnation type pieces. It's a kind of a homemade piece, older, but some of the petals have lost their, their edges. So we'll put that in for a craft lot mm -hmm. as well. This is a lapel pin, British Antarctic Expedition, Nova Scotia. And then it tells a little bit about it. 
Scott and four companions arrived at the South Pole on 17 January 1912 to find that a team led by Norwegian Roald Admundsen had beaten them by 34 days. All five perished. Natural History or Natural Natural History Museum. That's different. If you're a collector of pins, that might be something you'd want. Oh, now this is nice. These are cold, cold. I'm assuming they're a type of glass. It does need to be restrung. It's kind of lost its get up and go. But it's, it's still a pretty piece. It's got like green and then a kind of a bluish turquoise in the center. And it's, it's spaced by little copper tone beads. That's a nice piece. It's heavy, too. Oh, and of course my favorites. I love these things. This is wood. Very good condition. I really like that. I really like it. It's in very good condition. My other partner in crime, my sister aunt that helps Larry and I with this channel, um, she'll be very grateful that it doesn't need to be restrung <laughs> because that would be a man. One, two, three, four, five to restring those and get them all to fit together perfectly. That's a piece of art there. And then last but not least, I have all these chains at the bottom of this. So this wasn't really any better than the first half of the box that I did a couple of days ago. Now I am going to have a sale this evening, Tuesday evening at six o'clock Mountain Standard Time and uh, be so appreciative if you stop by. It's a sale by, you know, if you see it and you like it, and you want it, you just put want and, and we'll get you set up to purchase it. I try to keep my prices pretty reasonable for everybody because I'd like for everybody to get in on it. It's entertaining. We have a little bit of a chat. Uh, when we can, we talk about uh, things with jewelry. I'm still learning myself. This is a lovely little keychain. It looks like it might have been a tourist a souvenir. It's got a little leprechaun, that's cute, and Ireland, and then the luck of the Irish, and it says Ireland here. It's in good shape, silver tone. That's cute. And then we have another one that has a butterfly and some kind of bohemian beads. And if I'm not mistaken, that twists off. But that's cute. That's a little key ring. And then we have one with a little... Uh, angel with yellow hair and a little flower. It's a uh, metal, silver tone. And then I got a little mouse, Christmas mouse with little red booties and a little red dress, her little leggings and black earrings. <laughs> but she's cute. I don't know if you can see her. She does have some black earrings here on the sides. Oops, and something just fell off of her. What was it? Hmm. Let me see what I can find out what that is. I felt it fall. It wasn't her ear. It wasn't her arm. <laughs> I think it was her thumb. Huh. I'll have to look at that closer. It might, it might have to go in a craft lot for Christmas. Unfortunately, that's what I get for banging around on. And uh, the last but not least, a little clay Christmas tree. It has the little balls on it. It's really cute because you can even see the, the, the br not the branches, but the um, needles, the way they carve the little needles in there. And I don't know what that is right there, but it's cute. It's got a little star and it's got a little safety pin on the back. It's homemade. Somebody had a lot of patience to roll those little balls and then glue them on there. Very cute. So, we ended up with a pair of nice silver tone earrings. 
a glass bangle bracelet, a very nice wooden bracelet, uh, some stretch bracelets, and um, let's see, oh, these beads, these beads were pretty. But as I say, now, if you liked what you saw, it wasn't a very, very great box, but it wasn't a bad box either. So if you liked anything you saw, you can always purchase from me by putting a comment down in the, or putting a, a want and give me a timestamp. And then um, we'll get together via email and see if we can come up with a, a fair price to you. And... Um, be sure and watch me on Tuesday evening for my sale. We'll be live then. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along. Share with your friends. There's a share button there. Give me a thumbs up on your way out. And we'll see you this evening. Thank you for stopping by. Love you. Take care of each other. Good night. Or <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>